weeks before students write the national grade 6 assessment and the CXC exams, teachers remain out of the classroom and the Guyana Teachers Union feels that the blame should be laid at the feet of the Ministry of Education and by extension the government. GTU General Secretary Coretta MacDonald. Any fault um, where with regards to our children not being able to matriculate at the exams will be squarely laid at the feet of the government of Guyana. The fact that the government of Guyana could spend so much time on planning for this CARICOM summit and neglecting the teachers, it means that they will have to be blamed. And so I want to say to parents now, your child's education is important. You have prepared your child all through from grades 1 to 6 to write the grade 6 examinations. And if they can't write it and they have, been, they have lost almost one term, then you have to blame the Minister of Education. For those who are writing CSEC again, you had extra lessons, you had all the books you had to buy, all the assignments to complete, you had the SBS to be prepared. If they cannot be marked and the scores submitted and their exams have to be pushed to another date, then the blame must be laid squarely at the feet of the Ministry of Education and by extension the government. McDonald was speaking with reporters on the picket line outside of the Ministry of Education today. She said one of her concerns is the pledge of $2 million US dollars to CARICOM by the government to a Caribbean Climate Adaptation Fund. Well, we have been saying all the time that we are aware that this government could find monies to pay the teachers. I remember the Vice President Barrett Jacquieu, he said, um, I think it was last week or might have been a week before the last, that um, if they were to pay teachers, the other sector of workers would be asking for monies to increase this in salaries, and rightly so. This government, the president, let me start from him, is very, very disrespectful, and he's very ungrateful to the teachers who taught him. In addition to that, all the dinners and all the breakfasts and all the transportation and so, it costs. And if you could find those monies to, to host CARICOM Summit at a time like this when your teachers are on the streets, then it clearly shows that teachers aren't valued in this government. They don't value education. And let me say it, let me say it that way. They don't value education. And so the teachers are drafted into that as well as our children are drafted into that. There is a general fear in some circles that with the prolonged industrial action, some teachers may think about moving to greener pastures. McDonald feels that this can be the opening for the exodus of teachers. Well, you and I know that the nurses have gone off and this here will be the uh, opening for the exodus of teachers. As a matter of fact, we've already seen numerous application forms being distributed amongst teachers groups. And, and these are forms that are encouraging teachers to travel to the UK. They are forms, application forms for teachers who want to travel to Jamaica, application forms for teachers who want to travel to Canada and the USA. And so with this kind of treatment, teachers will use those opportunities to do what they have to do, um, to go to greener pastures, if, if is, that's what we want to call it. Today makes 16 days since teachers commence strike action. And to date, the government has refused to meet with the teachers' representative, the Guyana Teachers' Union. Teachers across the country are demanding a livable wage, collective bargaining, and the consideration of its multi-year proposal submitted to the government in 2020.